Hello my hungry friends! Today we're making turkey in horseradish sauce. Indyk w sosie chrzanowym. Welcome back friends! This is Paul Shoe Kitchen and my name is Anna. Today we're explore, exploring uh, the realm of Polish dinners and we're making turkey in horseradish sauce. Uh, this uh, doesn't have to be turkey. I'm making turkey because that's what I bought, but you can do uh, veal or you can do uh, pork chops or you can do um, ch uh, chicken breasts, whatever what, whatever kind of meat you want. Just kind of, you want it to be in kind of in pieces like this or in steaks. So I'm posting a recipe, uh, I'm posting a link to this recipe in the video description. So go ahead and take a look, give me a like, and subscribe to my channel. So we are going to start with heating our pan and getting these guys a little color. So I have this heating and I'm putting a little bit of oil in my pan. And this is pretty hot already, so I'm just going to pop these in. And the idea is to... Just give them a little color. You don't have to cook them through. They don't need to be uh, cooked because they're going to be sitting in our beautiful sauce, in our horseradish sauce for a little while. And that's when they're going to get cooked through and nice and soft and moist on the inside. Give these a few minutes until they <clears throat> are nice and brown on on each side and then we're going to remove them and I'm not even going to worry about getting a new plate I'm just going to put them on the same one because they're going to get cooking some more so if we're worried about any contamination they'll get cooked off and into the same pot I'm going to add a little bit more oil you can do whatever your favorite uh, sauteing fat is and I'm adding one diced onion, one little larger onion. This is, I think, a cup container. So about a cup of chopped, not chopped, diced onion. And this onion is going to brown a little bit in here. It's going to pick up the uh, beautiful bits, bits and bobs from the bottom of my pan. And it's going to add flavor to our sauce. I think I can even add a little bit of garlic. I just roughly chopped my, or sliced, I guess, my garlic. And I'm just going to add that in there and give it a stir. And look, the onion is already turning nice and brown. And I can smell the garlic. And it's smelling gorgeous. And to this, since we're stewing stuff, we're going to add Paul's favorite stew or soup trio, which is a couple of bay leaves. And you can say it with me. <laughs> uh, some uh, whole peppercorns. Peppercorns. And a few um, uh, allspice spice. berries. I'm going to do five or six today. And you can get those at most grocery stores in America. They're just a little bit uh, brown berries. And if we've seen any of my videos <laughs> before, you'll know that these go in, in most soups and stews that we cook here in Poland, unless it's like a fruit soup. Yes, we have soup that's fruit soup. All right, that's pretty close. I just want a little uh, caramelization on the onion and uh, it's got nice brown edges and that looks good to me. I'm going to return the meat into the pot and then I'm going to add four cups of water. And you have you, as you may have noticed, I did put a little bit of salt and pepper on my turkey before I sauteed it. 
because I mean it does need some some flavor added to it and you can't just put meat without any spices in our sauce so go ahead and put some some of that on your meat too and this will now stew for at least 30 minutes with my turkey this may be 30 minutes but if you're cooking uh, depending on what kind of cut of pork uh, just kind of monitor your meat and you want it to be nice and tender almost to the point uh, like you're having pulled pulled pork or pulled chicken that kind of tenderness uh, so I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna let this go on low for until it's soft so we'll see you in a bit our stew our, our meat is stewing in the back here I've, I've had it on low for a while my meat is nice and tender and we are ready to get to the last step I have about three uh, tablespoons of butter melted in here and to it I'm adding three tablespoons of uh, all-purpose flour and all we're doing here is making a roux that will thicken our sauce so this is heated through I'm going to turn this off now because the longer you heat this or cook it the darker the roux is going to be and then I don't want it too dark and at this time I'm going to move my pot off my very professional stove onto my board and I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, root, not root, the stew that I had, the meat stewing in, to my, to my, um, to my roux, the broth to the roux, yeah. And we want to do this slowly so it's not clumpy and we want this to kind of pick up the moisture from the the sauce and eventually thicken our roux completely but if I was to throw this all in the pot I'm afraid it would clump and I have onions in here obviously so it kind of looks a little thick I think I'm going to get a little bit more roux Oh, a little more broth. Gee, my, <laughs> my terminology is being all compromised. I'm thinking and doing. Apparently, you're not supposed to do that all <laughs> at once. So I'm just going to keep adding and stirring. There's one of those flavor nuggets I saw going. Yep, flavor nuggets go in, everything. There we go. It's getting there now. This can be tricky sometimes, so just be patient with it and just keep adding a little by little. And I'm going to move my pot over here now. I made a little bit of a mess. <coughs> I'm going to move my pot over here and keep thickening it. This is hot, this is hot. And ideally, I would take this meat out, but I think I'll just move it to the side a little bit. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Can you see I'm having a good day? <laughs> and this thickener is going in. Come on, we gotta show this. Is gonna go in here. And we're gonna bring this to boil in a second. Get the bits and bulbs into the room or into the broth. Here I go again. I'm going to take some English lessons again. And put that away. And as soon as that gets some heat, it'll thicken even more. And last but not least, I'm going to add cream to this. Not last, second to last. How much cream are you adding? So this is three quarter cup. <laughs> good, good question. You have all the good questions today. I think I need, a, I need an assistant more than uh, ever today. So thank you. <laughs> 
three quarter cup of heavy cream or if you have half and half would work too. It just kind of depend, uh, depending on fat content of the liquid. Uh, and then now almost last is the second last from the last. <laughs> it's horseradish sauce, so let's not forget the horseradish. So you can, I'm gonna add about three quarter cup to a cup of horseradish. Um, but this depends on your palate. So go if you want to go uh, on the lighter side, you can try with half a cup. Uh, this isn't supposed to be horseradish flavored sauce. This is supposed to be horseradish sauce. So we want it heavy in horseradish. But if your horseradish is super spicy, uh, like it can be sometimes, especially if it's freshly made, then you want to be kind of careful. And this just became nice and creamy and uh, light in color and fragrant from the horseradish. And you can see the bits of uh, melted butter, like the eyes, we call them eyes. Ochka. And now I'm gonna, I wanna heat it up because that's gonna get our thickener working. Let's fire this up. And nice in the middle. I'm gonna give this a stir until it comes to a boil. But we don't need to be boiling this anymore. Um, we just need to bring it up to a boil and then it's pretty much done. Uh, I'm gonna taste it, make sure it doesn't need salt or anything, but before that I'm gonna add a squirt of lemon, probably about a teaspoon. Catch the uh, pits. Give this a stir for a little bit of uh, added flavor and I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of sugar. I wanna make sure this doesn't need salt. Let this dissolve a little bit. And this sauce, I like a lot of sauce in my, in my saucy meats. So when I pour it over potatoes or over uh, some kind of grain, it's just, saucy. it's saucy and especially with potatoes. I'm a, I don't know about you, but I'm a potato girl too. And get nice mashed potatoes and put this over this creamy sauce over potatoes. Mm, you get it. Um, you have a question? What's your question? Uh, uh, oh, yes, I have a question. <laughs> can you make this in a crock pot? Yes, you can make it in the crock pot. And I was actually a big fan of making this type of saucy dishes um, in the crock pot. And normally what I do is I saute the meat or sprinkle you know, the meat with some salt and pepper and just get a nice sear on it and then put it in a crock pot, cover it with water, add the tree or two it, the bay leaves and uh, allspice and pepper, um, peppercorns, I apologize. And let it go for as long as you normally would, four hours, six hours, eight hours if you're gone for work. And then when you get home, just finish it with the, the roux and the horseradish. And dinner's done. Add some, add a grain, add a potato, whatever your, your, your preference is, and Bob's your uncle. All right, I'm just gonna give it a taste to see if it needs some uh, salt. Mm-hmm. I think it does need a little bit of salt. So taste. Taste as you go along too, and adjust as needed. If you like things, this, but uh, not peppercorn, um, this horseradish was not super spicy. So my sauce is uh, not spicy. So I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. It's gonna add nice flavor to it. So this is done. It's thick, it's bubbly, creamy. And all we gotta do is eat. Does this look delicious? Mm -hmm. Let me 
get a plate. I made such a mess today. <laughs> Clean your work area as you go, as my dad used to say in his workshop. So I have a nice creamy sauce. Check this out. A nice soft turkey. See how it's falling apart? That's perfect. That's what you want. Garnish this with a little bit of parsley and dinner's done. Mmm, delicious. And horseradish comes through. You can definitely say it's a horseradish sauce, but it's not overpowering, it's not overbearing. It's nice and smooth and creamy. I'm sure you will love this. Try it for your next potluck, your next Sunday dinner, your friends coming over. They'll love it, I'm sure. I hope you like my videos. Please subscribe, like, follow, visit my merch shop, PolishKitchen.com, up at the top menu. I hope to see you next time. Smachnego!